Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. I'm here at Plaid Enterprises and I am so happy to be here with you to share this wonderful new paint. It's Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. I love it and so will you. And the best part of it is that we're going to do a project today that you can pick out any color. We have amazing colors. You can pick out any color and paint a lamp in your home that needs to be uh, updated. Maybe take some wood, ceramic, metal, there's all sorts of finishes that this paint will cover very quick and easy. This technique I'm going to show you is a weathered white wax finish. How fun is that? And so we have the white wax. We also have wax in other colors, but we're using white wax today. And I love that we have tools that are small enough to go around all these little finials. I'm going to show you how I like to use these. This is a wax brush and this brush is for base coating. You won't believe how good this base coats around the like legs of tables and these great little lamps. So I love to go garage selling and thrift shopping. That's my thing. And I like to turn trash to treasure. And this, you won't believe what this looked like when we started, but I'm going to show you in just a minute. All right, here's the lamp that I found, and it's kind of like an iron, and it's heavy, but what I don't like about it is it was darker, and I wanted, I pictured something lighter, like the weathered look that I'm talking about with the glacier blue. So with the white wax on it, it looks perfect. So what I've done is I've used a household glass cleaner, and I've cleaned, just spritzed it, got the dust and any residue that was on it off. I took painter's tape on the harp here, and where the cord goes into the, lamps so that you don't have to worry about trying to clean that off later. And then I'm ready to go. So what I've done, I've got the small tools, I told you, because it's a smaller surface to get around. I'm going to mix my paint, stir it up. We're not mixing because that would be more than one color, but we're going to stir this. And we are going to actually paint out of this bottle because the bottle, this brush fits in the bottle which I love, it makes it really easy for you. And I actually start with these dry, and then we're gonna put a lot, the brushes dry, because I forget to tell you that sometimes. And what I'm gonna do is show you how fun, in one coat almost, this, you might want two, but I just want you to see what happens with one coat with this chalk paint, and it dries an ultra matte color, so, um, finish. So what's really nice about that is look how good it's covering it. So you're just going to pick up, it has a lot of, um, it, it will pick up a lot of paint at one time. So that means you can keep painting, look at this, the small brush holds in your hand, very simple, and base coats this piece really wonderfully. All right, so what I do is I finish one coat and then I go back to just kind of touch up if I see that it needs something else. But isn't it wonderful that in, in one coat the chalk can do so good right over a dark surface? That's what amazes me. And one of the things that I like to share with you is that we want this to go on with a nice coat. We want it to dry for a couple hours before we start doing our finish. I'm going to show you with the wax our finishing touches, all right? And what I also have a little trick here that I think you're gonna really like is I'm taking one of those sticks that I'm stirring with and we're gonna put this finial, it's the knob on the top, which, I, which you can get all kinds of fun finials. And sometimes what makes them even better is to paint them to match or an accent color. But what I'm doing on this is I usually have my fingers all over it. I try putting it on a plate and I no matter what I do I have to go back, but this will make it really easy for you. It's just a little tip. I want to make it easy for you to base coat. First of all, you hold it here and get all the bottom <laughs> and then you come back and do the top. So we're going to finish base coating this and let it sit and dry and I'll show you the next fun step that we're going to do. Okay, now that we've finished painting and our lamp has dried for a couple hours. We're gonna do the weathering part. And to do the weathering part, we're gonna first of all use our white wax, which is just wonderful. I use it on all sorts of projects. We have to do, to apply the wax, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use 
one of our wax brushes. Now this large wax brush I use quite a bit on larger pieces of furniture or you can even stencil with this brush. It's wonderful for our wall stencils or when we're stenciling on furniture like big coffee tables or whatever. And then this small um, wax brush is what we're going to use for a smaller piece like this. Now I've already stirred my wax. I'm going to move it over here so you can see. I also have um, a lint-free white cloth that we're going to use, cotton cloth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip right in. That's the handy thing about these smaller brushes is that they go right in there for you. And then I'm going to make sure I go into the crevices first. Now this is to your preference how much you want on here. But I want you to see that it's real important that I put it, the wax, into each one of those crevices because we want to leave some of that covered. I mean, leave some of the white wax inside the crevices, okay? I want to get under here real good. All right. Now, as we do this, we're going to take our cloth, and I like to like fold it in half, wrap it around my fingers so that I can get in there and just decide how I want to remove, how much I want to remove. And see, I'm going to just lightly wipe off what I think would make me happy. You decide what makes you happy, okay? I told you I'm happy to be here. This is fun. <laughs> All right. Now, I sometimes will turn it and streak down. Like this metal in here has grooves that go down, okay? And I've left quite a bit on here. We'll show you the finished project later. But that's what we're going to do. So it's really easy. It's fun. We're going to come back and finish waxing this piece before we do our next step. Now that we've finished, we've let it dry. We've taken off the wax that we, the excess wax that we didn't want on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to then it's all dry, so it'll buff really good for you. You're going to come in here and buff to your heart's content. So just think the more you buff, the shinier, the more of a sheen you're going to get. So some people are happy with, you know, it's to your preference how little or how much you want. So that's an easy process. And then I want to put it together for you really quick here and see how cute this from what it used to be to what it is now. Look how great that is. Now that's a bright, pretty lamp. And you have all these beautiful, um, colors to pick from so they can match any decor that you have. And just remember you can find out more about tips and techniques for waxing on the Folk Art Home Decor Wax How-To Videos. The thing I love most about this is that you can go to platonline.com and find everything that you want to redo your pieces and dress them up and all the colors that we have and get excited about what's next. Now I'm excited to see what you do with a lamp at your home. I'm even thinking a chandelier, one of those old chandeliers at my house. So I would love to see pictures of what you do with your folk art home decor chalk. I'm waiting.